Okay, with wastewater, there's a few little tricks uh, to that one. One is you're going to draw like this uh, big two-inch circle underneath all of your uh, drains where things are going to drain out. Okay, and there's the toilet, um, and there's the uh, bathtub. Um, and what we're going to do from here is we got to run this to the outside. Now with drain pipe, of course, drain pipe is again underneath the uh, slab. And um, it also must be sloped at least one quarter of an inch per foot. Now that is not going to, you're not going to be concerned with that in this view. If we end up doing an elevation view of that, then you would. But right now you're not. One thing you are concerned about is that there are no 90 degree turns in this pipe. This pipe is carrying waste and it's carrying waste by gravity. And you don't want that getting clogged up in the pipe somewhere. So uh, nothing more than a 45 degree turn. And, um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kinda choose a central point. Now typically the wastewater will come out the front of the house and go into the, or not into the street, but it's gonna go to a, a sewer system that is under the street, the city sewer system. Um, so I'm gonna kinda pick a location that that's going to kinda generate from, like right here. Go straight down like that. Okay, so that goes all the way to the outside. And then from here, um, now with uh, wastewater pipe, uh, you know, it is a different type of plastic. You can actually get uh, various uh, different sizes. Okay, so actually backing up on that a little bit, um, your wastewater pipe, um, you know, again, no more than 45 degrees. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at each outlet here. I think I'm going to start on the, oops, I need to pick a line, I guess, first. Or I need to be in the detail line. Modify, okay, I'm good. Okay, so lock on there. And what I want to do is bring it to that line with no nothing more than 45 degree angles. So I'm just going to kind of pull it to about right here. It looks 45 degrees. Now I'm going to lock it in at 45 and pull it to right there. Now, of course, I'll have to adjust and pull that line up. Um, same thing here. I'm going to go about to where it looks like it's 45 degrees. And then go at 45 degrees, which is basically 135 um, on the other side of the compass. Okay, so there we have that. And um, I see how I'm going to have to make some adjustments. And coming from here, pretty much doing the same thing, but locking down here. And we could take it straight to the pipe. Okay, so what there would be, there would be some Y fittings on here. Um, this is going to be a problem. Um, oh, yeah, I think I can do this. Okay, I can go right up here and then just have a Y, a y connection right there. Um, so I'll have to represent that again with some of those straight lines. So this would be the original point of the Y. And then going up here to here. And here to here. Here to here. And this one would be a 45 degree, just a 45 degree coupling because the uh, the Y would end here. And then you're going around this corner to a uh, an elbow. And what we'll do in order to make that two fittings, we'll do that. Okay, now I'm going to kind of clean things up here a little bit. Um, this is bigger pipe. It's a fatter pipe. So I am going to set this at two inches from that intersection. So two inches. And then the width is going to be, um, let's see, I was doing one inch before. So let's just do two inches on that as well. That might be too small. And yeah, let's do something about, uh, let's do four inches. It's actually going to be... Uh, well, actually, it would be four-inch pipe. I didn't really think about that. Okay, I think it's locked. 
onto the line. So I'm going to pull it out two inches this way, I think. Bring this in like so. Can I bump it now? Yeah, there we go. It's unlocked. Okay, so we'll bring this, change our witness line to right there. And what I say, two inches? And yeah, I might well not say five long, four inches. Yeah, two inches might be close. So let's instead make that also four inches. So those will all be four inches. Bump it over and change the witness line to here, four inches. And I still have a little bit of a problem there. I don't like where they start to uh, interfere with one another. That one's four inches and that one's four inches. All right, let's just bump them out to five inches. We'll know next time, won't we? That's better. That's much better. Okay, so now I just want to go and um, I may not be able to do the same thing here. And actually, I need to uh, offset this one just a little bit or copy it. Because there's two fittings right there. Center and change our witness line. Oh, it looks a little close there. It's a little close, a lot close actually. No, it's four inches. Or I think, did I do it five inches earlier? I may have, and uh, I just forgot. I do that a lot. Of course, we need to reduce the size of uh, this one. is still not quite in the center okay so it may not be a perfect four or five inches it looks pretty good though it looks pretty consistent um, so there you go and uh, let's put this one um, at five inches from the pipe okay so whichever one you do four or five inches is perfectly fine there's nothing written in stone uh, that says how far this needs to be um, I am just doing it so that it looks good. And that one's going to have to come way back. So I'm really just going to eyeball this one, bring it to about right here. Okay. So as long as it looks good and consistent, good and consistent. You want that. And I'm going to use the alignment tool to help me with that. No, I ain't what I wanted to do.
probably won't let me align it vertically. Okay, well, I'll just try my best. There we go. Okay, so there is your waste water. Uh, I think the only thing I missed was my shower. So I got to tap my shower in there somehow. Um, you don't want to tap one waste line into another waste line. You want it all to tap down here into the main, uh, main waste line. Uh, and then, of course, you'll do your, your kitchen. Any kind of waste water you got coming from your kitchen or you, even your upstairs bathrooms will all need to come down uh, into your main waste line.